The internet came to God's, didn't it? David Gibbings. I wasn't putting the phone. What would David Gibbings do? So glad to see you. I, I was trying to figure out who that was. Here's the internet. Everything that was vertical became horizontal. Everything that was centralized became distributed. Everything that was authoritarian became completely anarchic. Not just democratic, but anarchic. And the geeks inherited the earth. And then we got to the participatory internet. So it's no longer just geeks. The geeks made the tools simple. Ordinary people could use them. They turned off that damn box in the living room, the one that shouts at you all the time, turned it off, and turned on their computers instead. And just like that, everybody who does this is instantly free to be whomever you want. You're now rid of 50,000 years of human history because you are a unique individual. You are truly a Greek. You are a member of the Agora. You are a free, free-thinking, free-spirited, free moral agent. You can do whatever you want. You can attract whomever you want to talk to. You can, anybody will listen to you in any case. Your voice can grow as who knows who Michael Arrington is. <laughs> David Gibbons knows, Andy Kaufman knows. Michael Arrington is techcrunch.com, right? What was Michael Arrington five years ago? I don't know, he was some kind of corporate geek, right? I don't know what he was. He was working for a VC or something. Michael Arrington starts TechCrunch.com, starts covering startups. The people who are interested in startups are in love with the news about startups. Michael Arrington is a bazillionaire. I don't know what he makes. He makes a ton of money. He has, I don't know how many employees working out of his house in Southern California. TechCrunch is huge. What was Michael Arrington before? Michael Arrington was Greg Zaman, he was Brian Brady, he was you, he was nobody. And now the reporters, the newspapers say, I'm not a blogger, I'm a journalist. And that, that means I'm on my way to being unemployed. Michael Arrington is not a journalist, he's a blogger, and he's a millionaire. And this is the kind of freedom that I'm talking about. We're free from that.